So today I'm going to review this Ingo 20 volt handheld cordless vacuum cleaner. And I'm on site here about to install some floating shells. And if you have any experience in doing that, doing it the proper way, we make a lot of dust. Uh, so if this little machine can pass this test, I'm going to be really impressed and very happy because if I don't have to load my big vacuum cleaner and plug that in on site um, any longer, and I can just bring this little machine with on big and, and small installations, that's gonna make my life much easier. So let's test it out and see how it does. All right, let's see what you get in the box. All right, so it says here, you get uh, yeah, your crevice nozzle, dust brush, floor nozzle, flexible extension tube, and two extension tubes. So I, when I saw this on the box, I was really, what I say, suspicious if they could fit all of that in here. So let's see. All right, all right there you got your little baby floor cleaner. Your nozzle with a brush. That's the unit itself. Crevice nozzle. Flexible hose. And there you have it. Your two extension pipes. Really impressive. So I've just put my battery in. Let me just show you the buttons here. That you're on and off. And then you have a high and low function. But this thing sometimes makes a crazy amount of noise when you put it on the high function. Maybe you'll hear it a bit later. I think it's when you hold it at a certain angle. So just check that out. And I mean, so it is a small machine. It doesn't have a crazy amount of power. And uh, we'll soon find out if it has enough for this job. All right, so let's uh, find out. So I'm about to drill eight mil holes in the wall as a pilot, and I'm gonna finish it off with a 12 mil. We are inserting 10 mil rods in the wall. And uh, yeah, let's see what this little vacuum does. So on this 8mm it did really well, there's not a lot of dust on this counter at all, if any. Alright, now I'm going to go with the 12mm and so far I'm impressed, it's doing really well. It looks like it might pass this test. So this fine dust really quickly clogs up even a normal vacuum cleaner, so 
After this shelf, I'm going to clean it. I can feel the power getting less. And then, I'm, to be fair, I'm going to clean it and we're going to do the next one. Okay, so this is a really tough test for this little machine. This is always a really messy job. And so far, it's uh, passing the test. I would have wanted it to stay, keep its power a bit longer, but to be fair, it's a really small vacuum. This is fine dust. So far, it's really usable for this kind of job. I'd say it's not really a sight vacuum, but I'm impressed with it. I mean, if it can pass this test fairly well, then it's good enough for your house and your office. So, yeah, you have to empty it regularly, but this is not a normal test for this little machine. So, so far I'm quite impressed. Okay, to conclude, this was a fun little review, but this is not a side vacuum. Uh, I used my regular vacuum to clean up here and it's much stronger. So don't expect to use this on site. Obviously, I was just trying to test it out, um, giving it a tough job and see how it did. And it fared quite right. But I would say, use this at home, use this in your office. I'm gonna keep this little guy in my office at the workshop okay so we're back here in the shop i just want to show you guys some stuff i didn't get to on site so just a cleaning mechanism or the system how to how to clean this and we can take that off we've got this button to press to open it and then the clip just unclip it at the bottom then you've got this filtration system you've got a single flow valve on the inside so the dust can't fall back um, out front and then you've got this metal uh, mesh filtration system and then your HEPA filter and this you can just clean very easily it's easier and better to get it properly clean when you use a compressor but for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna clean it by hand. I mean, most people don't have compressors at home. So this is the way you can just clean it, tap it, and then we're ready to go again. All right, so now I'm gonna do a few more tests with these different attachments, and I'm gonna see how much it can hold using uh, planar shavings. I'm gonna spread it out here on the floor and then we're gonna have some fun. Okay, first I'm going to use this floor nozzle. Let's see how effective it is. All right, that's pretty great. And this thing is almost completely full. And it still had a lot of suction power. So this is just the unit itself. All right. Now it's actually completely full. And because this isn't fine dust, it doesn't really clog the filter too much. The test with uh, the floating shelves and drilling in the wall, that fine dust really clogs this filter quickly. Okay, for all intensive purposes, this is basically the same test, but 
Um, why not? So as you can see, it really has a lot of power. I actually used it for the first time when we drilled those holes in the in the wall. And for this kind of for this kind of shavings, it's great. And then of course you have this little dust brush. But I mean, yeah, it works. It actually works lacquer with this shavings. Okay, so as you've seen in the unboxing, this unit doesn't come with a battery or a charger, so you'll have to get that separately. Yeah, to conclude, final conclusion, I think it's, uh, for, for the size, it's really powerful. It can hold a lot of dust. I mean, it's no effort to clean this at all. Um, you, don't, you almost don't have to clean the HEPA filter. You can just shake out uh, whatever's in here and, and move on. And you've got this rubber handle the buttons, everything, everything about it feels like a quality piece of uh, machinery. You've got this LED right here. I use it in my office kitchen, put, it, put off the lights and it's, it's really bright. I would recommend it, I like it. I would recommend you get one for your house, um, in your garage to clean your car, uh, in your kitchen, in your office. Well built product. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to go buy yourself some Ingo tools.